Today, I'm gonna to show you the only five ways to accept credit card payments on your website. The options I share with you include payment page links, payment page builders, e-commerce solutions, and custom solutions alike. So if you're brand new to putting payments on your website or you've never done it before, or you've already done it, but you're not happy with the solution you currently have, I'm gonna to talk to you about all of the options that are available to you. There's obviously more than a handful of ways to make this happen. So the solution that's right for you largely depends on the resources that are available to you to make the solution come to life. So one of the biggest questions that I'm asked is very simply, how? How does it work? Do, do I have to put payment pages directly on my website or can they be hosted by another company or is there a pay now button available? And how do you make all these solutions tie together? There's so many options out there. So again, I'm gonna go over the five broad categories and then I am gonna give you a bunch of resources in this video, including three big questions to help you determine which solution's actually best for you and which one's right for you. So be sure to stick around for the whole video because I'm gonna give you resources throughout the video as well as a checklist at the end of the video that'll help you determine which solution is best for you. So here we go. Number five is the all-in-one processor hosted payment page. So an uh, all-in-one processor is a company like Stripe or PayPal and these are also known as payment service providers. So they are definitely different than a merchant account processor or a true merchant account provider in the sense that they have a processing solution available to you and you license their technology and use their platform. So these options give you the ability to create a, an account for free. PayPal and Stripe are both free to use. So that's a big benefit, obviously, to this, this solution. But you can log into your dashboard and create a pay now button or a buy with card button, depending on which tool you're using or which service you're using. And you can take that code and place it on your website through an HTML editor, whether you're using Wix or Squarespace or my preference, which is WordPress. You put that code directly into your website editor and the buy now button appears. So setup is simple to do. You create the accounts for free and then you can log in directly to the dashboard and just start creating your pay now button. So that's definitely the pro to this option, which is an easy and quick setup. One of the negatives to this is that if you create a pay now button with one of these solutions or one of these providers, you are tied to using their merchant account solution with that payment button. So if you create the button with Stripe or PayPal, you're also accepting the payment through those processing platforms. So it can be a negative if you compare on just cost alone because a lot of merchant account providers are gonna be a, a lesser cost, sometimes uh, 50 basis points to a full percentage point lower than what Stripe or PayPal might charge. So the cost for this option is really contingent on the amount of time it takes you to research the options and gain the knowledge that it's gonna to take to put those buttons into place and then work it into your own workflow. Number four is a True Merchant Account Provider hosted payment page. True Merchant Account Providers are companies like Card Connect, Chase Payment Tech, and First Data, and they're different than the, the payment service providers that we just talked about like PayPal or Stripe. So a hosted payment page is tied to a gateway, and the best way to understand what a True Merchant Account gateway and hosted payment page is is that the gateway is a software tool that encrypts data between your store, your online store or your payment page and the merchant account processing company. So when a customer goes to your website and makes a payment, the data is sent through the gateway, which is appropriately named by the way, over to the processing company and then sent back. So it's an essential piece and, and a vital part of the transaction flow of an online credit card transaction. So one of the nice things about the hosted payment page is that it's completely managed for you by the gateway service. So that just means that you don't have to worry about storing cardholder data because it's all hosted and managed and taken care of by the gateway company. That's part of the hosted payment page service. So the hosted payment pages are set up with companies like Cardpoint, NMI, or Authorize.net. And again, all the security is taken care of and handled for you with this out of the box or off the shelf solution. So here's a sample of a hosted payment page by Cardpoint. And this is built in a WordPress website editor. So I've 
constructed this page, built it in the WordPress editor, and installed the code that produces the Pay Now button. And this is what it looks like. So the way it works is when you, your customer clicks on this button, it takes them away from your domain over to the gateway hosted payment page, again, which is on a different URL, where the customer can enter their information. So you don't need to customize anything. It's an off the shelf solution and tool. So you just use it as it is. Again, the security liability with this option is managed by the payment gateway. So you don't need to worry about any of the, really you don't need to worry about SSL certificates because when the customer clicks the pay now button, they leave your website and they go over to that secure environment, which is hosted by the gateway. So there's typically not an additional cost for the hosted payment page. It just comes as part of the service with the gateway. So again, if you have an account with CardPoint, Authorize.net, or NMI, this service is gonna come with it. And gateways typically cost between five and $25 a month, plus about five to 15 cents per transaction when the gateway is used. Number three is a custom API integration with custom payment pages or shopping cart solutions. So this is easily the most expensive option because it's custom. Programmers and developers typically charge between 50 and $150 per hour. So it doesn't really take too many feature requests to get that bill past the thousand or multiple thousand dollar mark in order to get your custom payment page or shopping cart solution that you want. Now the custom solution has one big, really big benefit is, and that's that you get to make it however you want it to look. So it can follow the form and function of your website. And when you build it with an SSL certificate, which you definitely want to do, and most developers are automatically gonna require that, but when you build it the way that you want it to look, it follows that form and function of your website so the customer never leaves your website and they stay within the experience of your shopping cart or your payment pages. I'll link up in the description to a couple of SSL certificate providers, companies that I use for my own projects as well as recommendations that I've made for my clients. Number two is e-commerce or cart solutions. So think Amazon here. This is the experience of a shopping cart solution where your customer can go onto your website or your online store and pick and choose different products that you have available online. They can add them to a cart and then they can proceed to check out whenever they would like. So your store is available online, obviously 24 seven. So your customers can customize their order however they would like to. There's a variety of e-commerce platforms that'll plug into WordPress and there's standalone solutions. And then there's really custom developed e-commerce software solutions that can be for a custom built website, of course. And the one that I really prefer is WooCommerce because it's an open source plugin that plugs right into the WordPress framework. So anyone can go and download this and customize it to have the look and feel of your website. And then you simply download a payment gateway plugin and add that to your shopping cart solutions. So WooCommerce has a page on their website with all of the certified and, and uh, preferred website gateways that work with their WooCommerce plugin. And this is a quick scan of what all of those companies are. And of course, I'll link to this page in the description. Examples of e-commerce platforms are WooCommerce, Shopify, Zencart, BigCommerce, and a handful of others, 1020, I'll link up in the description. And there's there's hundreds and hundreds of options out there so it will take a little bit of research but those are my top picks and number one is the CRM form builder and payment page generator tools the main benefit to this option and why it's my number one pick is the flexibility and the customization and ongoing security and maintenance with all of the tools that fall within this category Companies like Simply Pay Me, Infusionsoft, Formstack, Thrivecart, Wufu, and, and lots of others are online softwares where you can buy a subscription and they have payment page generators that allow you to upload your logo and create certain fields and add custom fields that really allows you to design the look and feel of the entire payment page that you can then take HTML code, put it on your website just in the same way that we've already discussed or you can have a standalone payment page link that'll allow you to 
click away from your website or you can just give that payment link directly to your customer or client. Each of the tools that I just mentioned under this category link up with Stripe integrations and website gateway integrations, but not necessarily both. And some have PayPal and others don't. So it really depends on the software tool and, and the developer that built the tool as to which integrations they will allow. So to demonstrate this process, I'll use the payment page builder and invoicing link tool called Simply Pay Me, and it's just three simple steps. Number one, you create an account and connect your Stripe or Card Connect merchant account. Number two is to create your payment page with the built-in page editor, assign your product name and type in the dollar amount of your product. And then number three is to just grab your payment link and send that out to your customers via email or embed the payment form into your website. I'll post a link to this page in the description so you can see what these pages look like if you choose to use this particular tool for your workflow. Most of the tools in this category are going to range right around the $50 to $100 mark, but some of them are in the $20 range, maybe $30 range for these payment page builders and, and software tools that generate hosted payment pages for you. PayPal and Stripe options are there for you. They're free, but a lot of times they have to integrate with these other software tools and the functionality may be a little bit limited, especially with PayPal and somewhat with Stripe. So again, just click around and, and take a look at some of the resources and the tools that I have available for you in the uh, free resource download that I'm gonna give to you and see which tools will integrate with the payment processor of your choice. So that's the five ways to set up and accept credit card payments on your website website, either by placing buy now buttons or embed links on your website. So the big question is, what's right for you? Here's a couple of questions to ask yourself to kind of gauge which of these software solutions or custom design solutions is gonna be right for your business and your situation. Number one, and first and foremost, decide who's gonna implement the solution. Is it gonna be you, or do you have a team of designers or coders or programmers that's gonna be able to implement this for you? Number two is, what do you want it to do? What do you want the payment page to accomplish? Do you want a simple buy now button or pay here button? that's a static page that accepts payments where your customer can type in a dollar amount or do you need a fixed page that showcases one particular product or service and you just need that to be up on your website all the time. Number three is what's your budget? Are you gonna hire somebody? Are you gonna do it yourself? And what service or what software tool are you gonna use to implement into your own payment flow and your own payment structure to accomplish what you wanna have done? The final thought or the final question is to once again decide what you want the payment page process and the whole checkout process to do for your customer and for your clients. So decide whether you want your customer to make a purchase and then have that payment page redirect them to a custom thank you page where there might be a video or a custom page giving them more instructions on how to perhaps make another purchase or go visit your website and learn more about other products and services that you offer. So give some thought to the process of how you wanna integrate that payment page into your whole customer journey and the customer experience that you're delivering to everyone who could potentially buy your products and services. So if you have questions about how to set up and integrate any of the software tools that I referenced, the custom solutions or the e-commerce shopping carts, as well as website platforms that you're currently using, uh, I'll link up in the description a contact form where you can reach out and email me and get in touch and get your questions answered. You can also leave a comment below this video and if you found value, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, I publish tutorial style videos on making the process of collecting payments fast and efficient. Topics include merchant accounts, payment page builders, software tools, and workflows that tie all of them together. I'm Brian Manning, and until next time, have a great day.